Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Andrew Views, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. This is going to be doing another video and another character evolution video. This one is going to be a character evolution on Grace from Fear of the Walking Dead. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Okay guys, just gonna be doing another video for today. This one's gonna be doing another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. This one's gonna be doing a video for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 7 and leading up to it. This one I actually thought was very, very fitting and I'm glad to see this one uh, had enough full, uh, votes in the poll before this season actually began, which is a character evolution on Grace for Fear of the Walking Dead. So, um, Fear of the Walking Dead airs uh, next weekend. Uh, season 7, Episode 1 is going to be airing uh, early on AMC Plus next uh, Sunday. So very, very excited to see that. Very, very excited to see the premiere for Fear of the Walking Dead Season 7. However, uh, let's talk about and let's discuss uh, Grace from Fear of the Walking Dead. So, um... She is introduced in Season 5, Episode 2, The Hurt That Will Happen, and still alive as of Season 6, Episode 16, The End, uh, So, uh, or The Beginning. Um, I always think that episode's called The End for some reason. It's called The Beginning. So, um, okay, now she is a very interesting character in the series, you know? Basically, her role essentially is being a, well, two things, a love interest for Morgan, that's the main one, and then um, the other one is being, I guess, our radiation expert in the show, right? Uh, anytime there's any kind of conversation about radiation, there's always something about Grace going on, so I I, I don't know why they ever kind of gave her that uh, forefront role. It's like every time radiation comes up, it's like it's always something to do with her, Um and I guess that means season seven, she's going to have a hell of a spotlight. I mean, I don't know. So, um, but basically she's introduced and we see that she's trying to deal with the radiated walkers, right? Uh, and she is going around basically trying to kind of protect everybody, kind of blocking off some of the roads uh, because she knows some of the areas that uh, are, you know, filled with radiation and, you know, walkers and stuff. Um, and basically, uh, you know, that's kind of her role is that she continues to do that. You know, she meets up with Morgan and Alicia. She basically decides to uh, kind of go off and on her own journey. And then when you get the, uh, you know, the uh, power plant that's, you know, going to melt down, uh, she gets on the plane with everybody else and uh, basically they decide to leave together. Right. So, um, you know, it, it's an interesting plot. However, this is when I don't like her plot is in 5B when they basically make it seem like the radiation is going to kill her at some point. And it seems like Grace does not have a lot of time left. So she bonds with Morgan and we see her, you know, um, She's passed and now she is, you know, not exactly doing so well. You know, at one moment she's singing with Daniel and then at the next moment, you know, she's like not doing so well and stuff. But um, Morgan kind of tries to distance himself from her, you know, because at first he's kind of like, okay, maybe there's something here. And then he kind of is like, no, 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 because, you know, he, he knows like she's probably not going to make it too long. So he decides to go out there with Al and I guess continue to help people. Right. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it's kind of I will say it's actually a very well done story when it comes to her and Morgan where Morgan just knows like okay you know she doesn't have a lot of time left why am I getting close to her when she's probably going to be dead by tomorrow right um so that's kind of the, the the sad reality behind all of it right um and I honestly would have liked that storyline but you see you see the problem and this is when the problem comes in uh you find out she's pregnant okay so uh when you find out she's pregnant I'm like hold up okay I am no I have no expertise in that field uh, I do not think that a pregnant lady would be going through all that, right? I, am I am I wrong here? Like any of y'all that watch the channel, that uh, any of y'all females out there that have been pregnant, let me know. Is, is this something that like happens? Because if you ask me, this is an Ian and Andrew screw up, and this is them trying to fake uh, and do fake out after fake out after fake out. They did it with Alicia, you know, in that same season, you know, like oh she got blood all over her. Grace, it's like oh my god, she keeps passing out and she this and that. Like it's like okay. Honestly, that to me made no sense. Like, no sense at all. Um, honestly, I, I do not recall someone that has gone through pregnancy, uh, at least from what I know, that has gone through something like that. You know, and again, who am I? You know, who, who am I to say? I'm just saying, like, okay, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird how they kind of executed that, right? Um, so that made absolutely no sense to me. And they only did it for the shock value, which is really stupid, if you ask me. Um, I like the relationship between Morgan and Grace, but I do not like the way that they did it in season five, where it's like, oh, she could die. Oh, she couldn't. You know, it's like, 
For the love of God, man, honestly, like, you could still have it to where Morgan decides he's not going to go with Grace at the end of uh, uh, Season 5, Episode 10, because he's scared of it turning into something, you know, else, and he already lost Jenny, you know, he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to go through it again, you know, uh, you can still do that, like, even without the sickness stuff, like, just have her bond with Morgan, Morgan kind of gets scared about it, and kind of leave, you know, uh, still kind of a sad story, because it's like, oh, man, he can't let go, um, and then you just find out she's pregnant, without any of the passing out stuff, and any, you know, it's like, honestly, that's why, like, I feel like they did it for shock value, and I'm just like, man, honestly, why, why even do it, like, I just, I don't understand it, but, um, any of y'all that can help me understand why they did what they did with Grace in season five, let me know, maybe I'm just out of the loop here, but I looked at it as a major fake out the entire time, so, um, She's taken by Jenny. We don't see her until about halfway through season six. And of course, um, she does, you know, um, you know, get, you know, while well, she's in the lineup with everybody, uh, she gets, you know, threatened to get killed like at least twice or maybe three times. Uh, poor Grace, man. Honestly, in that lineup the whole time, it's like, I'm going to kill Grace. Oh my God, Morgan, I'm going to kill Grace. It's like, oh, I'm going to blow her brains out. It's like, holy frig. Like, can Grace catch a break here a little bit? It's like, dang. Um, but of course, she uh, has a reunion with Morgan. Uh, Morgan kind of cuts the deal to let Daniel and Grace go. And basically, uh, okay, let, let's talk about it. Uh, in Dreams. So, ouch. Um, this episode, man, I don't like it, okay? Um, I am not a big fan of In Dreams just because it's not in reality. It is basically kind of a, well, dream uh, that Grace has. And she kind of can't get out of it um, as she meets her daughter. But then, you know, unfortunately, her daughter actually ends up being dead, you know? So the whole time you think like, oh, this is Grace's final episode. You know, that's probably what this is. Uh, and then there's the twist that it's actually her daughter's final moments and not uh, not hers. Um, and they actually kill a baby in Fear of the Walking Dead, which I just cannot, I still cannot believe that they went there. Um, but um, yeah, it is probably as sad as it is and as tragic as it is and as crazy and as much as I don't like in dreams, it probably is and I have to definitely address it. It's her biggest story of this show so far when she loses that kid and how she suffers after that, you know, and just how, how anybody would deal with that. Um, it just, yeah, honestly, I, I, that was the most I've ever felt for Grace is when that, uh, episode happened. I don't like the episode. I find it very frustrating to watch. It's one of the only episodes in season six. I can truly say like, I hated the episode, but I do like the Grace character in that episode. That like that is one thing I will say. I do like her character in that one. Um and I do feel really bad for just I mean, I mean, anybody that would go through that, you know, uh, but especially in the apocalypse and just, oh my God, man, honestly, uh, that's awful. Honestly, that is absolutely awful. And, um, honestly, that's one of those things. I'm still speechless. Like as I'm talking about, it, I'm still speechless, honestly, at times when it comes to that, that was just one of the craziest moments in The Walking Dead for me, honestly. Um, so basically, okay, now we also get to see afterwards, you know, Morgan kind of doesn't think he's going to make it off submarine and she hopes that Morgan survives. So they basically decide as the nuke goes off and they can't stop Teddy from doing what he's doing, that they're going to blow their brains out because I guess that's the smart idea to do at this point, even though you can just chill in the submarine and wait till it's over, which is exactly what they're doing in season seven. So, you know, it's like, okay, uh, again, with the fake out, you know, it's like, okay, come on. Uh, but honestly, uh, they, I mean, they get the baby from Rachel who unfortunately dies, um, in a stupid way, but Rachel dies. Um, and, uh, Rufus, you know, brings her back and basically, uh, I guess they almost have a second, second chance at being parents, you know, again, um, which is interesting, uh, and we'll see how that goes in season seven and how much they protect, uh, you know, uh, little Morgan, right? So that is my thoughts on uh, Grace's character. Uh, season five, uh, she's all right. She she ain't bad or anything. I just don't like the fake out stuff. She's an okay character. I like her for uh, for Morgan, I guess. Um, and then season six, again, uh, an okay character. I don't really have anything against her. I just think that they need to do more. Like, I haven't seen an episode with Grace when I'm like, Oh my God, amazing character. Like, you know, I haven't, I haven't said that, you know, uh, which a lot of characters in fear, I can say that, you know, like I've seen episodes of characters where I'm like, Oh my God, like episodes with Morgan or yeah, even Alicia, like she has episodes where I'm like, Oh my God, uh, or John Dory or even June recently, like, uh, Dwight and, you know, characters like this strand, you know, uh, Grace, I can't say is in that same field, you know? So, um, hopefully she'll get there. She's a decent character for me right now. Uh, that's kind of my thoughts on, uh, Grace's character. Kevin, uh, Karen David, though, definitely does a great job and definitely, uh, I definitely support
support her and her acting. I think she's really, really great. Uh, I do hope that they do more with the Grace character, though, for sure. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Rich, comments in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, click to subscribe and uh, don't miss my videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow me watch the videos, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Anybody out there?